So many are carried away with the achievements in their personal life as well as their immediate family. But only few have been able to walk the talk of actually impacting generations around them, of which the youth stands to be a majority. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how the Cetrus Foundation, through your help and our supporters on this platform, our patrons, our helpers, our supporters, have been able to positively affect the lives of about 50 African youth and over 200 families in Africa. Yes, yes. Today, you're welcome to the Cetrus Work family. I'm Joquette Soluadi Cetro. And in case you're just coming by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And we have come out to say a very big thank you. Thank you, the Yoruba will say that. Egbo Shiba. I've come to say very big thank you to all our supporters on this channel, those that have been supporting us via patrons, those that have been sending to us, helping us, praying for us. God bless you. You will not lose your reward in time and in eternity. And all these youths we are trained together, we are going to see them develop our world for a greater height in future. And in today's video, we want to be giving you a proper presentation of how much has been expended on the training of this youth and so many other aspects of their training. Yes, in this summary, the amount spent on each of these youths includes work, their training fee, the purchase of their startup machine, and other needed equipment for them to start up their crafts or whatever empowerment training they've chosen. First person on the list is Rebecca. She was helped with 56,000 Naira, and you can see the dollar equivalent of that. Second on the list is Sophia, and she was helped with 128,000 Naira. Number three is John, and that's 68,800 Naira. Number four is the Makoko youth. Yes, it's a slum community in which we helped about 14 youths with a sum of 315,000 558 Naira. And the fifth person is Biotu, the carpenter. And about 136,000 was spent on him. We move to number six. Number six is Dockers, the very little makeup girl. And 52,000 Naira was spent on her. We go to number seven, and that is Enne, the nurse. Nurse Enne, and about 61,000 Naira was spent on her. And for nurse Enne, a sewing machine was also given to her, of which the cost was not included. The next person on the line, it does number eight, and that is in the person of Michael. 150,000 was spent on his photography training. And when this physical foundation space was set up and he moved in down here, a training was around 250,000 in advanced photography and videography has been given to him for free. That's making a total of 400,000. And right now he's done with his training and he's going for his further education. Next is Esther and a total of 36,800 was spent on her. Following we have Chioma de Ketra and 60,000 Naira was expended on her. Following that, we have the feeding of over 200 families at Christmas for both the year 2020 and 2021, in which live chickens and foodstuffs were given to indigent families, and it was a great one. And the total amount expended on that is over 700,000 Naira. Next in line is the Bankales family, and a total of 222,000 was expended on them. Following, we have the success story of Elijah Alice that is really making us happy. And a, a total of around 138,000 has been expended on her. And very soon, you are going to see her bats competing with the likes of Louise Vuitton. But one interesting thing is that she's actually in a remote village in Nigeria where there's no light, where there's not, no, no social amenities, and yet she's still 
advancing you. And you can see some of her current work. She's improving every day, day by day. And she has a challenge now because she has reached out to the foundation that she wants to move out of that village to the city so that she can perform better in her work because she needs light and so many other things. And she wants the foundation to help, part of which is what we are calling on this help for by the time of getting the tree. Yes. And the number next is no other person than Richard Yoko. Richard Yoko is a graduate that is doing great, that is highly intelligent. And a total of 99,000 has been expended on him. Next in line, we have Mayoko, a very articulate undergraduate that is doing well in the world of fashion. And a total of 30,000 was expended on her. And do you want to know the next? Is no other person than Joy. A total of 84,000 has been expended on her. While we have this interesting lady from the north that is making me happy in the person of Jamilia. Jamilia is an undergraduate in the northern part of Nigeria. And a total of 70,500 thereabout has been expended on her. While we started moving to the interior villages in Nigeria, we met some hardworking intelligent and great youths at their craft and such is Ken Day, the hairdresser and a total of 42,000 naira thereabout has been expended on her. In other villages and cities also we have Toke and a total of 53,000 naira has been expended on her. Still on our tour to different parts of Nigeria in Badagri we have this orphan girl by name Omelade and a total of 58,000 was expended on her. On the move still to Oyo State in Ibadan, Western Nigeria, we have Joseph learning auto mechanics. A total of 20,000 was paid for his training, followed by Israel opposing 20,000 naira. And still in Oyo State, Western Nigeria, we have Sulia in Ajiwa Gold Village that is learning beauty materials. And a total of 10,000 was expended on her. Still in same Ajiwa Gold Village in Oyo State, Western Nigeria, we are able to empower three youths. Omolade, Shakirat, and Elizabeth for about 20,000 and this is the cheapest empowerment so far because it's in a remote village. Still in same Ajiwago village, we have Koyum. Koyum, the organizer, maybe you know him, you must have known him. He's an orphan boy also that is doing great in organizing. And just we spoke with his trainer today, the boy is really improving on the job. They are waiting for us to do his graduation for him and to set him up. And on Koyum, we've been able to expend about 25,000 thereabouts on him. Still in Oyo State, a sum of 20,000 naira was spent on Bright for coding, while a laptop was also sent to him. Then I move over to Rose. Rose was given 15,000 naira for upkeep and training in bag making. And she actually went to Edo State to meet the bag making Alice, Elijah Alice, that taught her. So these are part of the benefits of having people you've empowered in the foundation helping others. Because for each of the beneficiaries, they are to help three other Africans for free. Yes, and she has done one. Yes, and the next person is Toby from Ibado. He was empowered with 20,000 naira to learn shoemaking. While in the same Ibado, Dora was also empowered with 20,000 naira to learn fashion designing. Followed by Ife in the same Ibado, that was also empowered with 20,000 naira to learn makeup artistry. So we move on to Kwara State Ilori, where Mama J, yes, the bricklaying lady was actually helped with a sum of 60,000 naira or thereabouts for our work training and startup equipment and graduation. Yes, then who is the next on the list is no other person than Purity. Purity, the girl on the dump site, and she was helped with about 43,000 thereabouts. Yes, you might not be so familiar with this other person, but she's by name Ineka. She's been helped by the Central Foundation for training. She's an undergraduate in the School of Medicine, but she's actually interested in fashion. So the Central Foundation has helped her to a tune of about 80,000 or thereabouts. Yes. And the last person on the list for now is no other one than 
John Victor. He's actually an undergraduate and is currently in the Cetrus Foundation Fiscal Orb, being trained on a cost of about 250,000 Naira for free. And that is the summary of the youths we've been able to empower here at Cetrus Foundation, of which some of this sum included their trading, their startup equipment, and some of them, their graduation and Personal startup equipment was also included in all of this so yes so I want to give you an account summary so far from inception to date so the total that we've been able to expend on all the youths from the day we started to now it's 3.5 million naira thereabouts while the rents of the free school of including the security cleaning charges and all other charges is approximately 1.5 million naira followed by furnitures and fittings which is about 1.8 million naira and we also have recurrent expenditure of which we have a uh, feeding of the youth, office maintenance, paying the trainers to the tune of about 2.5 million naira or thereabouts. Total expenditure is to the tune of about 8.9 million naira. While the various helps and support and contribution that we've been able to re receive from wonderful people like you on this last one has been to the tune of 8 points, 6 million naira or thereabouts as you've been seeing. Yes. And we, the Cetros family, the Cetros Foundation, have come out in this video to really appreciate and say a very big thank you to all that have been supportive to this foundation since inception. All your $1, $1,000, your Patreon help, and all the help you've been sending to us, even sending this video to the right people to help us, sending in your prayers, we really appreciate. And we believe that all these youths we are training together, they are really going to turn around to make our world great and also help us in one way or the other. Yes, so today we want to make you know the current situation that is happening at the foundation and the physical up. I'm so sure many of you have been looking out to the fact that we've not been posting more videos of more help. We've not been going to so many other places. And one of the factors that has caused it is what the current insecurity in Nigeria, which has hindered us from being able to go into various interiors because there are terrible things happening, which is also part of what has made it impossible for the foundation to generate enough income to be able to sustain its spending and that is what we the Cetrus family have been trying to manage with the fact that we've been trying to use our personal front our business profit even to the tune of selling our own car just to keep up with the expenses of running the foundation but right now we have discovered that we can't continue this way because now we want to take this our help to the next phrase so that we can accommodate larger number of these youth especially now that we now have a physical up that they can walk into most of them are waiting on us for their graduation some are waiting for their startup equipment some are waiting for so many help even some in other african countries have been reaching out to us but we've not been able because we've not got enough funds to help them for example in ghana our representative there has kept on calling us calling for help and we've not been able to respond till they got discouraged and now they've even stopped calling the foundation needs urgent help of a tune of about five thousand us dollars so we felt we can't just fold our hands and allow this to continue that's why we've come out today to reach out to wonderful people like you and in addition to the current challenge is the fact that this physical orb is already a year old and the rental is due and most of the youths that have been able to come physically here to the orb to be trained this has drastically reduced our cost of training and that is why we've actually come out today to say yes god might be laying it in your heart to be the help that the foundation needs at this time to take how we want to impact the lives of this you to the next level so you can do this by sending us whatever you can afford a dollar ten dollars a thousand dollars whatever or you could even afford some of the equipment some of the youths in the foundation have to be waiting on 
one another before they can use the laptop. We need more laptops. We need more training equipment. We need camera lenses. And if you have any of these, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. This will be highly appreciated because we'll be able to positively impact this life of the youth and take our world to the next level. So you can reach out to us on our WhatsApp number or on all our account numbers showing below and you shall really be rewarded. A dollar is something great, even if it's cents, even if it's a hundred dollar, a thousand dollar, whatever you have is really appreciated. All yours might just be that you will share this our video to somebody that will have the money to send to us all the equipment. We really appreciate it. Or you pray for us. Please just make sure you do any of this and we believe your reward will really be here on it and in eternity so we the Cetrus family want to say we're really grateful we really thank you all and don't forget that your joy therapy is so important even as we're here at the foundation trying to groom the youth uh we go through a lot but we don't lose our joy and another thing on the list is that there is an annual seminar that we do for these youths and we bring them from all over the places especially in nigeria and those that know in nigeria they join online we get facilitators to train them on integrity on how to move their business forward and every other thing we've not been able to do that this year because of one to so we believe as you help and reach out to us we'll be able to organize this program before the end of this year and we'll be able to move this year to the next level yes and for those of you that need our full account summary from inception to date maybe we must have missed out one or two youths or thereabout please kindly reach out to us via your email we will send you our account from inception to date kindly watch this video to see the impact the positive impact that Zetros Foundation is creating through the youth that we are help empowering and that this foundation has also been able to make in a particular school, training the youth on acting, on character formation and every other thing. So just watch the video, yes. Keep your joy because your joy is your strength and your strength is actually your life. See what come your way in the next video. Catch you, love you, bye-bye.